Forestry and agriculture are the backbones of many rural communities. Landowners grow trees and agricultural crops, and mills manufacture lumber. With every one of these products, the product itself has the highest value. Take forestry. The high-value fiber is used for lumber or paper. The leftovers, or residuals, material like tops and limbs, bark, wood chips, and sawdust, are called biomass and have little other purpose. Some farmers have no other choice but to open burn the unusable parts of their crops. Forest waste can be left on the forest floor or sent to landfills where it decomposes. All of these methods of disposal cause unnecessary carbon dioxide and methane emissions, greenhouse gases that contribute to climate change. But there's a better solution for these materials. We can use these residuals to generate renewable electricity to power and heat our homes and businesses. Not only does biomass create a clean energy product that helps promote healthy and resilient forests, but the reuse of this waste material combats climate change. Unlike fossil fuels, like natural gas and coal that, when burned, release new carbon into the atmosphere, the use of sustainably harvested biomass recycles carbon that is already part of a natural cycle. Trees that grow absorb carbon through photosynthesis. When that biomass is used to make electricity or heat, the carbon is released but then reabsorbed by growing forests. Provided that forests are harvested sustainably and regrown, the carbon from biomass is a part of a closed loop. Biomass means cleaner air, more jobs, renewable energy that runs 24-7, and less CO2 and methane going into the atmosphere. It powers and heats homes, businesses, and electric vehicles. And it strengthens our communities and helps them thrive.